In this video, we will see 10 delta testing of current transformer. The contents of this video are What is 10 delta? Precautions and steps for performing 10 delta test Results of 10 delta test And permissible limits of 10 delta Tan delta test is an AC low voltage dielectric test that is carried out on insulation to determine its health. It is carried out on various electrical equipments such as current transformers, potential transformers, coupling capacitors, CVTs, transformer bushings and transformer windings. Tan delta test is also called as loss angle test or dissipation factor test. The purpose of doing 10 delta test are given below. Detecting incipient weakness in HV insulation. Incipient weakness means slowly growing weakness in the insulation. Predicting the remaining life of the equipment under test. To get benchmark reference reading of the equipment when it is new, clean, dry and free from impurities. Under live conditions, a CT acts as a parallel plate capacitor with the primary conductor of the CT and the earth connection being two plates separated by the insulation. Under ideal conditions, the current flowing through the insulation is purely capacitive in nature. Therefore, as shown in this figure, the current IC leads the applied voltage by 90 degrees. Various factors such as aging, degradation of insulation, ingress of moisture and dirt causes increase in resistive current through the CT insulation. Therefore, in addition to the capacitive current, a small resistive current also starts flowing through the insulation. The resultant current I will be equal to vector sum of IC and IR. Therefore, the resultant phase shift between the applied voltage and total current will be less than 90 degree. The angle between the capacitive current and the total current is called as delta. The angle delta indicates the level of contamination in the insulation. Therefore, the angle delta is also called as loss angle. The tan of delta is equal to ratio of resistive current and the capacitive current. Increasing tan delta indicates increasing deterioration of insulation. When tan delta is equal to 0, insulation quality is good. When tan delta increases, insulation quality decreases. Maximum permissible value of tan delta is 0 0.007 at 20 degree Celsius. Precautions and steps for performing tan delta test. Current transformer that is to be tested should not be connected to any live part of the system. Never connect tan delta kit terminals to any energized equipment. Before doing any connections, the earthing terminal of the tan delta kit must be first connected to the CT earthing. Tan delta point of the CT should be disconnected from the earth. As shown in this figure, the earthing connection should be done first. The high voltage lead of the tan delta kit should be connected to the primary terminal of the city. And 
the low voltage lead must be connected to the tan delta point of the city. The tan delta point is visible in the secondary junction box of city. After doing all the connections, press the interlocks of the kit and turn the high voltage supply on. If CT is having tan delta point, measure tan delta in UST mode. If CT does not have tan delta point, use GST mode. Increase the applied voltage to 2 kV and start tan delta test. Note down the test results and repeat the test for 5 kV and 10 kV. Test results are obtained as shown below. For 2 kV test in UST mode, the leakage current is 0.134 mA. The capacitance is 213.5 microfarad and the tan delta is 0.00. 276, which is in permissible limits. For 5 kV, the leakage current has increased to 0.335 mA and the capacitance and tan delta values are almost same. For 10 kV, the leakage current is 0.57 mA and the capacitance and tan delta values are the same. As the value of tan delta is less than 0.007, we can say that the insulation of this city is healthy. Now, the results obtained from tan delta test are compared with the previous results and the factory test results to determine the health of the insulation. Increasing values of tan delta indicate degradation or deterioration of insulation quality. The permissible limits of capacitance and tan delta at 20 degrees Celsius are given below. Maximum permissible value of tan delta is 0.007. Maximum permissible rate of rise of tan delta per year is 0.001. Deviation of capacitance value from Factory test value should be within plus or minus 5%. After completion of testing, the test terminals must be grounded before being touched by any personnel. The earthing terminal of the tan delta kit must be removed at last after removing the HV and LV test terminals. Important point to note, tan delta point of the CT should now be connected to the earth before charging the CT to live part. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, do give us a thumbs up. And do not forget to subscribe our channel for watching such videos. If you have any doubts, do ask us in the comment section.